Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're taking a look at Stone's 18th Anniversary Ale. And of course it is a double IPA. So for this year's they don't have a name other than Anniversary IPA. They're calling it the hoppiest golden brown IPA on earth. Eight and a half percent and they talk about uh, dry hopping it exclusively with El Dorado hops although I know the kettle hops are different and it's a combination of like five or six. Uh, if you go to their website you can find out uh, what those hops are. I didn't bother looking them up. Well, I did and I already forgot, but we got it poured out. Um, yeah, it's sort of a, a golden brownish. It's kind of like, a, it's kind of amber, really. It sort of verges in brown tinges, slight red notes, but um, yeah, kind of like a deep amber gold type of color. Uh, the head on there is like yellowish tinge, kind of off-white head. So I, I forget what malts they're using too. That's probably on the website. Should look that up to kind of get it a darker color. But uh, let's get the aroma, which I already smelled when I poured it. Yeah, El Dorado hops, very unique. Um, they have this very candy-like quality, almost like an artificial sweet, like tropical fruit kind of lemony character, like like candied apricot and like pineapple, peachiness, that kind of thing. Very sweet aroma, which kind of plays up the, uh, the malt sweetness below, which has a sweeter bread note to it. Like almost um, like an oatmeal raisin cookie kind of sweetness, that, that kind of sweeter cookie, not quite a, like a sugar cookie sweetness, but, um, and definitely like a, like a sweeter bread note underneath all the hoppiness, but yeah, with just, Doing the El Dorado kind of overpowers maybe some of the other hops that are in the beer. Just because you get this big overall sweetness, sweet, tropical, stone fruit, um, like a sweeter lemon candy type of note to it as well. So it smells good. Let's dig in. Cheers. Oh, that's interesting. Getting a nuttiness on the finish. I wasn't really getting that in the aroma, but... Yeah, those darker uh, malts. So it's all hops, and then there's some malt character in the end. It's got this interesting kind of nutty, bready thing going on. So it makes a new little twist to, you know, your typical IPA. It's up front, you hear it with some bitterness. Um, kind of lends to like a spicy, piney sort of bitterness on your palate initially. Not overly bitter. You know, I would say the bitterness is uh, slightly less than, say, like Ruin 10. Um, you know, probably less than ruination. Probably using more of a, you know, late edition hopping technique. But still, you know, still has that kind of classic stone sort of bitterness up front. Then it moves right into those big sweeter notes. Everything I got on the nose midway through. Just all that like candied hop character for lack of a better term. You know, that, that sweeter uh, lemon, you know, stone fruit, like peach, apricot. Uh, pineapple thing going on. There is some sweeter citrus notes in there as well, like a sweeter orange type of note. <clears throat> if I remember right, they're using that experimental hop they use in an unapologetic IPA, um, which sort of adds a little bit of like a chocolate character. I, I picked that up on the finish, which transitions into this real kind of nutty, uh, like brown malt sort of character. Or maybe that's what they're using to darken it up, some brown malt, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, big time nuttiness, uh, something you don't get in a lot of IPA, so that makes it a little unique, uh, that nutty breadiness on the finish with like a little bit of like a, a touch of alcohol, sort of a sweetness, spiciness in there as well. So overall, what do I think about this beer? I think it's pretty good. Um, it's fairly unique, uh, a more unique malt characteristic than you get in a lot of uh, California IPAs. Uh, I like the fact that it doesn't have that big, sweet caramel crystal malt character to it. And it's got this nice kind of nutty, bready thing going on. Makes it a little more unique. Still very hot forward though, even though you get a, a, a malt character in there. Um, El Dorado is kind of an interesting hop. If you uh, want to read about that, how that came about. Kind of a cool name for it. And um, definitely it lends a, a good like candied hop character to the beer. Um, a sweet hop character, which some people might throw them off. But don't believe me, there's plenty of the more traditional kind of bitter... Um, hop character and flavors in there as well. So, kind of
kind of a unique beer. Uh, big thanks to my buddy Ken for getting me a bottle so I can get it up to you guys uh, right at the release. Um, this was bottled uh, almost two weeks ago from the review, so pick it up as soon as you see it and drink it. Uh, although it should hold up pretty well. I mean, it's got a good amount of hop character. So, Stone, 18th anniversary IPA. Um, yeah, I recommend checking it out. I'll be really curious to see what people's reactions are to it uh, because, you know, Stone's been doing almost IPAs for their anniversary for, um, of the 18 anniversaries, I think at least 11 of them or something like that are IPAs. So I'll be curious to see what people think about that. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.